Welcome into another one-on-one -on -one presented by Toyota, joined by 49ers running back Sean Drone. Sean, you got a fascinating story, man. I don't know if I've, I've seen many like it. You've been on eight different teams since 2011. How would you begin to describe your NFL career so far? Uh, up and down, to say the least. A couple humbling experiences, a couple lessons learned. Um, just, it, it definitely tested my faith. Um, and it just made, it made me a better person. I mean, I don't, you know, hate any team for releasing me or, you know, have any ill will towards them. Um, you know, they they put food on the table for my family, just like 49ers are doing right now. So, you know, they only made me a better player while I was there. And, uh, you know, just, just adding to the story. I think you're a perfect example of how unglamorous an NFL, Absolutely. the life can be for an NFL player. Because I think the public might have this one idea of what it is, but right. there are a lot of players out there like you who don't know what's going to come first, your opportunity to play. Right. Or the call from the GM saying you need a roster spot, your roster spot for somewhere else. So right. you're moving all over the place. You're taking your family. There's no place where you're settled. So how do you deal with those ups and downs? Those experiences have, uh, to say the least, have uh, built my character, you know, built my faith a little stronger and, you know, just made me the man that I am. Uh, you know, you mentioned moving my family around. That was That's, that's definitely a, a tough part, especially having kids and, and my wife having to basically, like, when I leave, for example, when I left to come here, she had to pack up the house herself and, you know, prepare for the move. So, you know, those little challenges like that, um, you know, they're not anything that we can't overcome. You know, like I said, it makes you better, and, you know, you just along for the, for the ride. Was there ever a point or a moment where you thought, maybe it's time to look for something different? Maybe it's time to hang up the cleats? And, and that's another, that, I'm glad you asked me that. I mean, because, like I said, it's, it's made me kind of the person that I am, you know, in 2013. Um, I was released from the Ravens. I was hurt on my first carry. Um, my first game with them and you know that after that I got hurt you know I was like nobody gonna want to hurt you know undrafted free agent that was definitely a, a, a period in my life where I had to figure out like you know what's next so you know I always like real estate so I got into real estate so I started picking up books going to uh, seminars and you know just kind of self self teaching myself you know I got into real estate not by mistake because I knew that's kind of what I want to do but I got into faster than what I wanted wanted to, so um, that that was a that was a learned experience in itself. So you put the real estate career on hold. On hold, yeah. But again, what's been missing? Because I watch you play, and, and your guy, you're a tough runner. You don't leave yards in the field. You can obviously catch the football, and make plays after the catch, mm -hmm. as seen by your eight catches against Seattle. Is it just the opportunity that's been missing? The opportunity. That's exactly it. I mean, I, I haven't had that, you know, that chance. You know, I just waited my turn. I had conversations with my position coach coaches in different teams and you know I said coach all I need is an opportunity and I told uh, Tom Raffin the same thing he was like a lot of guys sit in that chair and say the same thing but you know until they can prove it, I said coach I don't talk much but you give me the opportunity you know it's the sky's the limit. And you got that opportunity. Yeah. You, you told me after the game that you found out just before that Falcons game during warm-ups that you were going to get the start. Yeah. Last two games, you've been the featured ball carrier for this team. Mm -hmm. You've set a bunch of career highs. And, I mean, how much fun has that been? Because I'm sure you miss doing what you do. Oh, you're a grown man playing a kid's game. And, and that's what it is, a game. And, I, and I, I love football. That's my, I've been playing since I was in the fourth grade. And, you know, we've been having fun ever since. And to get the opportunity um, is just an extra boost you know from inside just, just feel like you know it's not really anything to prove to other teams um, because like I said no ill will, Ill will towards them it's just the fact that I got the opportunity and I'm thankful for my opportunity and I'm gonna do everything I can to you know show the organization show the fans and show my teammates that I'm here to work and I'm here to you know do it do what it takes to win. 